For over two millennia, the Strait of Messina has remained an untamed stretch of water separating Sicily from mainland Italy. Narrow enough to see across, yet formidable enough to defy connection. Despite countless proposals over the years, the dream of uniting the two land masses has never materialized. Now, Italy is pursuing its boldest attempt yet, constructing the world's longest suspension bridge to finally link the island of Sicily with the rest of the nation. This megaproject promises to do more than close a geographic gap. It could revolutionize transport, drive economic development, and become a powerful symbol of national progress. Yet beneath the promise lies a complex tangle of seismic risks, turbulent currents, political contention, and staggering costs. Will Italy succeed in turning this long-held vision into a modern masterpiece? Or will the dream collapse under the very challenges it seeks to conquer? Today, let's delve into Italy's $15 billion Strait of Messina Bridge project, exploring the immense obstacles it faces and the profound impact it could have on Italy's future. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video, as it's the best way to support this channel. The idea of bridging the Strait of Messina, which separates Sicily from mainland Italy, dates back to ancient times. The first attempt occurred in 252 BCE when Roman consul Metellus constructed a temporary bridge using boats and barrels to transport war elephants. While various attempts to build a permanent bridge followed, challenges such as the strait's depth and seismic activity hindered progress. Despite these difficulties, the vision for a bridge connecting Sicily and the mainland persisted. In the 1990s, the Italian government revived plans for a suspension bridge across the Strait of Messina as part of broader infrastructure development efforts. Although the project was approved, it was repeatedly delayed due to political changes, funding issues, and environmental concerns. Now, with renewed political support, backing of the European Union, and a stronger push to reduce regional inequality and boost southern Italy's economy, the project is back on track. The construction of a bridge between Sicily and mainland Italy faces significant geographical and environmental obstacles. The Strait of Messina is an area of intense natural forces that complicate engineering efforts. One of the most challenging aspects is the depth of the water. In certain parts of the strait, the depth reaches up to 200 meters, making it impossible to use traditional methods of anchoring bridge towers on solid ground. To address this, engineers would need to use advanced and costly techniques, such as deep sea piles or underwater platforms, to anchor the bridge supports. The Strait of Messina presents another significant challenge, which is its strong tidal currents, ranging from 1.5 to 3 knots. These currents create turbulence, which disrupts both construction and maintenance activities, making it difficult to work in the waters. Over time, these currents can cause wear on the bridge's underwater supports and increase strain on the structure. The region's high winds also exert pressure on the bridge's structure, particularly the suspension cables and towers. These winds can cause oscillations and sway, leading to potential fatigue over time and increasing the risk of structural failure by creating uneven stress. To withstand these conditions, specialized construction equipment and advanced engineering are required, significantly raising the complexity and cost of the project. Perhaps the most formidable challenge is the region's intense seismic activity. The Strait of Messina lies along a complex fault zone between the African and Eurasian tectonic plates, making it one of Europe's most earthquake-prone areas. The catastrophic 1908 Messina earthquake, measuring 7.1 in magnitude, struck the region with devastating force, killing over 80,000 people and flattening both Messina and Reggio Calabria. This tragic event remains one of the deadliest natural disasters in European history. Any bridge built here must be engineered to withstand powerful tremors, accounting for ground motion, structural flexing, and the constant threat of seismic shifts in this unstable zone. Despite the numerous challenges, Italy has developed an ambitious plan to build the bridge across the Strait of Messina using cutting-edge construction and engineering techniques. The proposed bridge will span approximately 3.6 kilometers, 
connecting the narrowest points of the strait, Villa San Giovanni in Calabria on the mainland, and Messina in Sicily. If completed, it would be the longest suspension bridge in the world. Its main span will measure 3.3 kilometers, with two towering pylons reaching a height of 382.6 meters, taller than the Empire State Building in New York. This impressive design is intended to support six lanes for vehicle traffic, accommodating 6,000 vehicles per hour, along with two emergency lanes, and a central railway line capable of handling up to 200 trains per day. The inclusion of a railway line is crucial to the project, as it will create a direct link between Sicily and mainland Italy's rail network, improving the transportation of both passengers and freight. To ensure the bridge can withstand the intense forces of nature in the region, engineers are utilizing high-strength materials and advanced construction techniques. Special features have been incorporated to mitigate the risks posed by seismic events. These include base isolators and shock absorbers that will protect the structure in the event of an earthquake. The construction will involve techniques and specialized equipment designed for deep waters and extreme weather, making it one of the most technologically advanced infrastructure projects in the world. This complex megaproject is estimated to cost $15 billion due to its unprecedented scale. The bridge is funded primarily through Italian state investment, which covers nearly 90% of the estimated $15 billion cost. The European Union has contributed 25 million euros, which is around 50% of the design and planning phase. The project is overseen by Stretto di Messina, with construction led by WeBuild Group, Italy's largest infrastructure company. The original design for the bridge was developed in 2011 by Studio De Miranda Associati, led by Professor Giulio De Miranda, a renowned expert in bridge engineering. The current plans build on this earlier blueprint, updated to meet today's environmental and seismic standards. Construction of the bridge is scheduled to commence in June 2025, and according to current plans, the project will take approximately seven years to complete, with the bridge scheduled to be operational by 2032. The Strait of Messina has faced significant opposition from environmental groups and local communities. Environmentalists are concerned about the impact on local ecosystems, as the strait is home to species like dolphins, whales, and sea turtles. The project developers have pledged to conduct environmental assessments and implement mitigation measures to reduce these impacts. Politically, the project has also been criticized, with some arguing that the funds should be spent on improving other regional infrastructure, like roads, schools, and healthcare. Despite these challenges, the government remains committed to the project, focusing on the long-term economic benefits it could bring to the region. Supporters of the bridge believe it will provide substantial economic advantages for both Sicily and mainland Italy. A major benefit of the bridge is improved transportation. Currently, the only options are ferries which are time-consuming. The bridge will reduce travel time dramatically, from over 40 minutes by ferry to just 4 minutes by car. This will enhance the movement of people and goods, which will boost business competitiveness expand access to national and European markets, and attract investment across key sectors. In turn, the project could spur the growth of new economic hubs in southern Italy, and is anticipated to generate over 100,000 jobs in areas such as construction, logistics, and long-term operations, including tourism and trade. With improved accessibility, Sicily's rich history, culture, and landscapes are expected to draw more visitors from mainland Italy and beyond. The bridge itself may also become a major tourist attraction, offering the experience of crossing the world's longest suspension bridge and taking in the stunning views of the Strait of Messina. The proposed bridge between Sicily and mainland Italy is an ambitious and monumental project that could transform the region's infrastructure and economy. If completed, it would be a marvel of engineering, connecting two land masses that have been separated for centuries. While it faces significant challenges, the bridge promises to enhance transportation and boost economic growth. The success of the bridge will ultimately depend on the Italian government, 
and project developers navigating these challenges to deliver a solution that benefits both Southern Italy and the nation as a whole. As Italy moves forward with the construction, the world will be watching to see if this centuries-old dream becomes a reality. If successful, the bridge could become a powerful symbol of Italy's legacy, marking a historic achievement that addresses regional disparities and reshapes the future of Southern Italy. What are your thoughts on this mega project? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.